Morning, day 309, headed in a few minutes early. A guy got stopped by a Twinkie. Surprisingly, it's actually clear this morning, except it's about 42 degrees. But, uh, the sun's out, so I will take it. Well, it lasts. It's supposed to be 60 and mostly sunny with maybe a couple hours of haze early this afternoon, but then clearing off again. So, if I have any mowing I need to do this week, looks like I'm going to have to do it now, today. And leaves, I got a lot of leaves to blow. But it might be windy. If it's too windy, I'm not blowing leaves. I hate blowing leaves when it's windy, because when you get done, sometimes it looks worse than when you started. You think people like Jeeps at this school? Holy crap. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, 2.10 p.m. It's very sunny still. It's mostly blue up there. We got a little cloud over there. But uh, it is very windy. We have 44 mile an hour, or 44 nautical, 44 knots on the lake right now on Erie. Of course, we're south of that quite a ways. Nevertheless, it is very windy, so I don't think today's going to be quite the day for uh, mowing and blowing leaves. But we'll see if we can get a hike in this afternoon. It is pretty. Now, maybe, I think I'm going to actually run over to the lake right now in Hudson and do a iPhone 4 versus iPhone 4S video and photo test. So uh, we'll see if I can get that done. So when the iPhone 4 came out last year, I did a Flip Ultra HD, which is what I'm filming on now, versus iPhone 4 video, and I got a lot of hits on that, and that was uh, really popular. I think it helped a lot of people out when deciding if they should just use their iPhone 4 camera or go buy one of these flips. So I think I am going to go over to the lake right now and make that video. Uh, same place I did last year, why not? And uh, we'll kind of get an idea of... Um, of the 4 versus the 4S, and then the 4S versus the Flip. As you can see, and probably hear now, it's very windy out here. So I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to cut the audio out of any videos that I make today, and uh, overlay audio from Final Cut Pro and record my own track in that. I know how to do it in iMovie, it's really easy, and I actually don't know how to do it in Final Cut Pro. I'm sure you can, but I'll have to figure that out. But I just got the trunk unloaded from school crap. Only homework I have tonight is, uh, matrices and math, it's really easy, so that's excellent, but uh, we'll go over there now, and uh, well, of course I'll film some for the vlog over there, and I was just there a couple weeks ago biking, you probably remember, and I mentioned that video that I made, and the one that I'll be redoing today. Alright, I got both phones on me now, uh, 218, head over there, it's about, uh, I don't know, a minute and a half to get there, we'll say it's 218. I bet we're there by 221 by the time I get out of the garage, get through the intersection, and get parked. Well, I just missed it, but there was a um, one of those big yellow, not a, a bigger than a cat, it looks like a backhoe thing uh, in the road, so I had to stop and let people go by because it was on my side of the road. It is now 221. I don't know why we're even talking about this. Oh, look, they're getting the turnpike done over here. As I mentioned, back during the summer, they started to redo the turnpike, so it's just getting done now, but I'm pretty much here. And I'm following a Taurus that every bump it hits, it's relatively new, every bump it hits, you, can, you might be able to see the air, the light around it, he's got some part of his exhaust just hanging out. Alright, made it over here, it's uh, still very windy. Uh, it's kind of coming in, in blasts, there's a Taurus, different gusts, it's, it's weird, but uh, very strong. Over there on the other side of those pine trees, I almost said palm trees, I wish. But over there is the Ohio Turnpike, which is uh, east-west, as you know, it's just 80, Route 80. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll be on that next year, maybe taking a road trip we're talking about. I don't know. There's a lot more leaves down over here for some reason. I don't know why I'm surprised. Big area for wind to pick up and take leaves down, especially today, but holy crap. This year we didn't even have the incredible weekend where everything was boring pretty and orange and yellow. They just all came down. Freaking weather. Alright, we're reaching the little uh, island-ish. That's the actual island, but I walk out here, we bike out here, we bike around here. You've been here before, yeah. So we're coming out here now, pull out both cameras, do the best I can to hold them both still and right next to each other. There's a snake. Check that out. Freaking right. So I'm just pretty much going to do the same thing we did last year. As I remember, it was windy last year too, because we don't really have very many good days around here, so... I'll do what I can, and that video should be up today, Monday the 17th, on the Tech Channel. 
All right, I think this is exactly where I did this last year, so uh, we'll get her done. Okay, uh, about 10 minutes. I got a whole bunch of pictures, videos, macro out over the lake. Good variety. I know I'm not going to be able to use any of the audio from that. That's all going to be voiceover or music. Uh, the wind's gotten a lot worse. Maybe it's because I'm out here uh, away from the trees and stuff, but at least most of the trees over there. But it's pretty bad. It's actually kind of cold. It's only about 60 degrees. 5560 so I may head downtown and try to get some pictures over there get some more color um, so yeah why not well I guess we'll do that yeah, man weenies are at it again all right all set got a lot of pictures a lot of video it's gonna take a while to edit tonight now I gotta figure out how to cross this street this traffic's awful this time of day still very windy but it has warmed up it's like 63 now which is weird i got out of school at i don't know 210 and it was 55 and it's gone up 10 degrees almost in uh, just about an hour so that's odd it's mini big dirty let me know if you get it oh yeah all right 6 20 and 10 seconds in the p.m I had to have a piece of pie. I've been going now for like two, two and a half hours. YouTube won't like that. Oh well. And I'm importing, or I'm exporting, the first clip of today's tech video, which is the camera comparison, you, you know, I, I filmed all this, uh, between those two cameras. So I ended up with like 1.3 something gigs of footage and pictures that I imported to this other canvas. I don't know if it'll let me... Uh, Switch, yeah, I can switch projects while it exports. But here's the other project. I'll zoom out on it so you can see the whole thing. There it is. Oh, big deal. You only have five tracks. All right, well, look at the amount of splits down here. And everything had to be scaled so it fits perfectly like that. I did the reflection on everything manually. Um, so I'm really happy with how it uh, has turned out so far. But I'm going to take this clip that's exporting now. I couldn't figure out how to get it from one project to the other, so I edited the first part. And I'm exporting that. Then I'll import it to the other product, the other project, edit it in there, and then uh, put everything together and export it. So after this, I've just got to drag this in the other project, put some royalty-free music in there, uh, and then maybe come back at the end and, and conclude with my thoughts. But both cameras are amazing. Even downscaled, they're both incredible cameras on incredible devices. Uh, I love the iPhone 4. I had a lot of problems with mine, I admit that. But I love the iPhone 4. I love the iPhone 4S. Um, maybe a little bit more because I can talk to it and complain about it. Complain to it, rather. But uh, both are incredible. I really hope that you uh, at least take a look at the video that I made. I put a lot of work into it. And if you at all care about the iPhone, I'll try to put a link in the description of this video because the other one should be up first. Uh, at least take a look at it and let me know what camera uh, you like better because, you know, it's a completely new sensor and new optics and everything. And maybe in some instances, the iPhone 4 is better. Ha ha! I think it's done. I'm going to go through and watch the whole thing now. It's 9 minutes and 28 seconds. But, um... Pretty intense project I've been working on. It's now 6.43. I started this at maybe 4-ish, uh, 3.30 or 4. So there's my intro clip. I've got text clips, uh, iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S, so you can see which one it is. There's a text clip for the audio. Here's all, excuse me, the video of the 4S up here. There's the video and, and pictures, too, of the 4. And then there's my, uh, my, my music track. I had to cut the uh, volume way down there and then there at the end, and it was the perfect length. So I'm going to watch this now, and it should be up on the tech channel by now. Kelso, she wears the pants, and they have never come off. <laughs> All right, well, video is exporting, so I got to entertain myself somehow. Anybody like this show? I think he did it.